What is going on everybody? Movie number 95. Also the fourth video I'm filming today. Killer Instinct from 2001. Corbin Burnson, D. Wallace. I think at that time it was D. Wallace Stone. It is a movie. Essentially, at least from the trailers, they're showing it as like you have a... People are going to a hospital, asylum, a house, something like that. You know, like a dare, and then a killer's dare, and kills them all. Well, yeah, kills them all. And they kill them in some pretty unique ways. You know, there's a, a trap that's set up that beheads them. You know, there's 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 a poisons the one, drugs the one, puts them in water, drowned. Somebody's broken by broken glass falling from the ceiling. Sort of like what you saw in, I think, Cursa Chucky. I think Cursa Chucky did a kill like that, too. So the kills were okay. But the movie itself was non-sequenced and just, like, there's too much going on. Like, you have D. Wallace investigating, you know, a land deal that wasn't done right because the guy who they stole was ran, they killed him, they framed him for murdering, they did all these things, and Corbin Burnson somehow tried to kill D. Wallace, didn't, but I didn't see him get in trouble for it at the time, so I don't fully get that. But the daughter of the guy who they killed killed all their children in the house. That was sort of the twist. But, like... You had the one girl kill everybody else. And, again, this isn't a sexist thing whatsoever. Like, there are plenty of girl, of female killers who they kill. They've done, they've, done, they've done well. But in this case, a lot of the kills, except for the automatic trap things I talked about, some of them, like, you would require some fisticuffs. You would require a little bit. So, you know, like, not all of them, I guess. So, But it, it just, I don't know. It could have been done differently than it was. You know, and then she, when she escaped the house after she killed everybody, she's like, oh, I was supposed to be there with them. And people bought that. And, you know, D. Wallace apparently was going to get revenge on the town for trying to kill her and do that. But you sell me the property, I won't tell anybody, and I'll make their lives a living hell. And so somehow she's going to get to sell the property that belonged to her father, even though it was already eminent domain years and years ago. So that's, that. I know a little bit about that stuff. I know that that's going to turn into some giant-ass lawsuit for a very long period of time. Like, wait a second, how... Again, muddled, muddled, muddled. Um, Corbin Burnson is great. See the dentist. D. Wallace, obviously she's great. And I Corbin Burnson in a ton of other films. But horror-wise, I said see the dentist. But obviously Major League, and I thought he was great in Psych as Sean's father. But not in this movie. So, I, I, I usually I try to point out stuff I liked. I mean, I guess the trap where the guy came out the vent and got beheaded was cool, but... How did she get up there to set the trap? How did she think about it? We have no... Like, that's a pretty sophisticated thing that was done. And we, did they do that on every grading, every outing, every this? And in all fairness, just break through the windows. There's bars, you put enough force in it, you're going to bust them off because it's old. And no one tried that. So, I don't know. I don't get it. <sighs> two... Yeah, this this got to be worse than... This is even worse than Midnight Screening. So, this is a 275 out of 10. And again, if it's something you liked, let me know. I'm curious because I just, I don't I don't personally get this one. I did talk to a couple of my friends about it, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it was that was horse shit." But we all have different tastes. I'm sure the stuff I really like that you don't. So let me know down in the comments. And again, we got only five more to hit the goal of the hundred. So I'm almost definitely gonna go over a hundred for the year. We'll see. Um, but I don't know. Who knows? Sometimes it's a good streak and it works. Sometimes it's not. But Last thing I'll say here, since this is the last of the sequence of videos for a bit, um, there's going to be a pretty cool contest coming soon. A signed TCM Funko Pop. Um, that's all I'll say about now. Obviously, it's not signed by, it's not signed by, you know, Gunnar Hansen. If you ever see a Gunnar Hansen signed Funko Pop, for the most part, they're fake. Because he wasn't around that long. Um, especially on Etsy. There's a guy on Etsy selling the newer ones, and, like, they have him on there. And I called him out, and he's like, oh, no, it's just a window swap. Like... Why would you dismantle a more expensive pop to do that? But that said, be on the lookout. It's coming up pretty soon. It's not going to be as heating as the other contests were. But anyway, movie number five is, movie 95 is in the book 2.75 pace.